video so today we're going to be discussing the programmable logic array more commonly called the PLA right so let's get started we have been given two equations right and so you're going to be given these in the questions each equation has as you can see three variables so y1 equal to a and b prime plus a prime and b and c prime y2 is equal to a and b prime plus a and b and c now the first step in designing a PLA for any set of equations is identifying the number of variables you have, the total number of variables you have. So in Y1, as you can see, we have A, B and C. In Y2, we also have A, B and C. Um, don't think about the primes for this moment, just look at the variables themselves. So we have a total of three variables, A, B and C, and our first step is writing down these variables so that's exactly what I'm gonna do there is one for a and here's B and here we have C right we have our variables so the next step is drawing our wires right for each variable you're gonna have two wires two different wires one is for the variable and one is for its prime which I'm gonna show you right now right um, okay the lines are gonna be a bit wonky but you're gonna have to draw them straight anyway so bear with me on this this one is for a this wire is for a and this wire is gonna be for a prime right so to get a prime from a we're going to need a not gate which I'm just gonna bring right now here is our NOT gate, we're just going to put that there and we're going to continue our wire all the way to here. Right, you'll notice that I'm making the wires long, uh, you don't need to know why now but you'll realize that why I've done this in a few minutes. Right, so to save us some time, I'm just going to copy this part and do the same for B and C. So here we are. This one's for B. And this one is for C. Okay, so I'm just gonna move these here. Okay, so now we have our three variables and our all our wires for these variables. So you're gonna have a total of six wires. So the first step of our PLA is done. We've done our variables and we've done our wires. Next, you have to identify the number of combinations that are present in your equations. For example, consider Y1. Y1 has A and B prime, which is one combination. And another, it has A prime and B and C prime, which is our second combination. So there are two in Y1. In Y2, we have A and B prime, which we've already counted, so ignore that one. And we also have A and B and C. So this one's new. So we have our third one here, and we have a total of one, two, and three. Three combinations of variables. Right, so the number of combinations you have here is going to be your total number of AND gates that you're going to draw here. So three, very, three combinations, which means three AND gates, and I'm just going to paste them. Just give me a second. So here is our first AND gate. Uh, let me, oops. All right, I'm going to paste that again. Here is our first AND gate. Here is our second one, which I'm going to place right here. And here is a third one. Okay, so three end gates for three combinations, three variables here because we have three variables here. All clear till now. Right, so three end gates, and now we're gonna have to take a look at you know at the number of variables that are present in each combination. Say for example, uh, in a and B prime, there are two variables present. In A and in A, par, A prime, B and C prime, there are three variables present. And in A, B, C, we also have three variables present. 
So the maximum number of variables present in any combination is 3, which means the number of wires that are going to be inserted into our AND gate is 3. So here we go. Right, guys, if we had another combination there, say for example, y1 it was also equal to plus a and b and c and d, we would have four variables in a combination and the number of wires entering into an AND gate would be four. So you pick the maximum. Right, I hope that's clear. And now I'm just going to be drawing the wires for each of these AND gates. Right, so we have our AND gates, we have our wires. Now I'm just going to remove this extra bit here because we don't need it. So we can go. Uh, give me a second. Right, so that bit goes. Goodbye. Right, we have our AND gates, we have our wires. And now I'm just going to write each combination beside each AND gate. So we remember which one is for which. This is for A and B prime. This one is for A prime and B and C prime. There we go. And this one is for A and B and... Okay, where did our C go? Alright, A and B and C. There should be a C here. Alright, so we have our AND gates. Um, next, The next thing to do in our PLA after assigning variables and assigning AND gates is to move on to our OR gates. Right, so how are you going to decide the number of OR gates that we are going to need? So the number of OR gates basically means the number of outputs. So here we have two different outputs. One is Y1 and another one is Y2. So there are two here, outputs, so we're going to use two OR gates. Just give me a second while I bring our OR gate in. There we go. So I'm going to paste our OR gate here, like so. So here is our first OR gate. And here is our second one. Right, so there we go, two OR gates for two outputs. Now, how are you going to decide the number of wires that are going to enter these OR gates? So take a look at the number of combinations present in each output. In Y1, we have two combinations, the A and B prime plus A prime and B and C prime. In Y2, we also have two combinations, A and B prime plus A and B and C. So the maximum number of combinations present in any output is two. Okay, um, if there was a Y3 here with three different combinations, say A and B prime and plus A and B and C plus A prime, B prime, C prime. If that was present, then we would have three different combinations for one output and the number of wires entering here would be three. But since we don't have that now, we have two. We're going to be inserting two wires into each of our OR gates. Right, so first you have to draw wires from our AND gates. One output from each AND gate. And then you're going to have to draw wires into our OR gates, like so. And there you have it, here's your PLA, but we're not done yet, we still haven't done the main thing that you have to do in your PLA. This is just going to be your basic diagram for these equations. Right, so this one is for Y1, I'm just going to write Y1 here, uh, Y1, Y1 equal to A dot B prime plus A prime dot B dot C prime. And this one is for y2. So y2 equal to a dot b prime plus a dot b dot c. 
Now you have your basic structure of your PLA and now you're going to have to make the connections. Right, so in order to do that, um, okay, in order to do that, uh, take a look at our first combination here in our AND gate. It's A dot B prime, right? So since there is A, you're going to have to mark here A. So that's going to be our first connection, right? So we've done the part for A. Now, you don't have to touch A prime because we only need A, right? We also need B prime. So move on to the second wire and you're going to be marking B prime there. All right, so we're done here. There's no C, so you don't need to touch this AND gate anymore. For the next one, we're going to be needing A prime. So in the first wire, you mark A prime. First wire and A prime, yeah? For the second wire, you mark B prime. And for the third wire, you're going to be needing C prime. So yes, C prime is here and third wire is here. There we go. All right, so now we're going to be needing for our third AND gate A and B and C. This one's A. This one is B. Uh, that's a bit wonky, but oh well. A, B, and C. Here is C. Alright, so we've done our three AND gates, and now we're going to move on to the OR gate. For Y1, you're going to be needing A and B prime. So A and B prime is this output here. So in the first wire, you're going to mark this, and you're going to be needing A prime and B and C prime, which is this output here. And it's going to be in the second wire. For Y2, it's going to be A and B prime. And since we don't have A prime and B and C prime, we ignore this output. We're going to need the third output, which is A and B and C. So you're going to put that right there. And there you have it. This is a fully functioning PLA for Y1 and Y2.